Do you know eating steak over something like beans can be over three times more effective for fat loss, muscle retention, and even how full you feel? Yeah, even if both say 30 grams of protein on the label. And that difference can make or break your results over time. And the main reason why that happens may actually surprise you. My name is Andrew Shattuck. I'm a certified sports and exercise scientist that has recently lost over 40 pounds of fat in just 100 days. And today we're breaking down what makes protein high quality versus low quality. Why it's way more important than just tracking grams and how to use it to maximize fat loss without losing muscle. So let's dive right into it. So here's the deal, bioavailability. You may have heard this word before, it's a fancy noun that means how much of the protein you eat actually gets absorbed and used by your body. You see, not all protein sources are digested the same. Some are like premium fuel, they're absorbed quickly and efficiently triggering muscle repair, satiety and metabolism boosts. Others are more like low grade fuel, you still get something but it's less efficient and less powerful. Let's use beans versus steak as an example, you may have seen it in the thumbnail of this video, even though they might both have 30 grams of protein on the label. With beans, your body might actually only use 18 to 20 grams efficiently. With steak, you might absorb almost 30 grams. With the full spectrum of amino acids and faster delivery, your body cares more about usable protein, not about the label. And if you're relying heavily on lower bioavailability sources, you're leaving gains and fat burning potential on the table. Let's get real for a second. During my 100 day fat loss transformation, one of my biggest fears was losing muscle by dropping fat. Because when you're in a calorie deficit, you need to be losing fat, not muscle. Your body looks for energy wherever it can, and if protein isn't on point, it starts breaking down muscle tissue instead of fat. But here's the catch. If you're eating high quality protein like steak, eggs, and whey, your body gets enough essential amino acids, especially leucine, which is the amino acid that turns on muscle protein synthesis, and your body's muscle building switch. If you're relying mostly on low quality protein like beans or lentils without combining them, you might not hit the leucine threshold. You might not recover properly and the result, yeah, you lose weight, sure, but it's muscle, not just fat. And that's what I like to call the skinny fat trap. Let's show you the difference. When I prioritized complete proteins, I stayed full, strong and energetic, even on fewer calories. My metabolism stayed high, I kept my strength and my body composition changed dramatically. It's not about eating more protein, it's about eating the right kind of protein. And although you can go on YouTube and research hours and hours on end of different people giving you advice, that's actually how you lose fat without losing muscle. But let me be crystal clear. I'm not saying plant protein is bad, I'm saying you need to use it differently if you want it to look like an animal protein. Most plant proteins are incomplete, meaning they're missing one or two essential amino acids, or they're low in key ones like lysamine and methionine. I mean, you can still perfectly combine plant foods to create the complete amino acid profile. I mean, everybody's heard of the rice and beans from different cultures, but you can actually put rice and beans, lentils, canoa, and hummus with whole grain bread to create different complete amino acid profiles. These combos give your body what it needs. Keep in mind the bioavailability for these proteins are lower, so you still may have to have a higher total protein intake throughout the rest of the day. So if you're eating a plant-based diet, your next move is to eat lots of different proteins. Consider a high quality plant-based protein powder that blends sources like pea and rice, and be aware of the overall amino acid intake, not just grams of protein. With the intention and a bit of strategy, you can absolutely thrive on plant-based proteins. It just takes more planning uh, than tossing steak and a couple of eggs in a pan. All right, so now you have the difference between high and low quality protein. What do you actually need to do with that information? Here's what I recommend you structure your day to maximize fat loss and muscle preservation. Base each meal around a complete protein source. Think about eggs for breakfast, chicken and lean beef for lunch, whey protein steak post-workout, or salmon turkey or tofu canoa for dinner. Use plant as a support, not the foundation, unless you've got the combo game dialed in or you're vegetarian. And aim for around 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per pound of goal of body weight per day, 24 to 40 grams per meal depending on your size. This ensures you're hitting the leucine threshold, stimulating muscle repair and staying full enough to stick to your calorie deficit. Because let's be real, fat loss isn't just about willpower, it's about fueling your body intelligently so it doesn't have to fight the whole day down. So. Protein quality changes the game. It's not just you hitting your numbers, it's about choosing the right tools for the job. If you want to preserve muscle, stay full and feel strong while dropping that body fat. Start focusing on high quality protein sources today. So you get the gist. I mean, you're at the end of the video now, so you obviously care a lot. And that's the first step. Combine different amino acid profiles, make sure you prioritize the protein sources over the label. And if you have any questions, just get in contact with me. I lost 40 pounds of fat in 100 days and I was alone. That doesn't mean you have to be. We're creating a community that people support each other all you have to do is get in contact subscribe and add that comment i'll catch you all later and i look forward to seeing you god bless your family